dead. We are all dead. They are dead. I am. I go. I go with them unconscious. Dead are emotions. We have killed ourselves. Compassion is dead. Love is dead. Joy is dead. There is only the machine. And we all serve. Mocking they play. Mocking all the bodies like a poet was a joke, like a worship was a plaything, and I'm wondering why this flag above men? There is only the madness and we all serve. Which stain among us would kill his brother? Which stain among us would kill himself to kill his enemy? Who among the stain would hate his enemy if he hates himself? Who among the stain would become his enemy? The gray, the steel, the noise, the blast, warships marching on. All the doors lead further inward into mechanical belly whose fire burns our bodies, withering down in the dark insomniac madness. Emotion, compassion, grace go up to the enemy, the toxic smoke of our hope rising with the exhaust, turning the engine, turning the propeller, turning us ever further from our grounded love into the gray mist, disappearing. Dreams have no place here. Hope has no place here. Grace has no place here. God has forsaken us and we believe we have a better for it. We have forsaken the earth, destroying it in hopes of destroying our sworn enemies, more swearing every hour no to our movement, no to our march, no to our no, which proves us right, which proves there is a right. Placing our lives on hold as the mechano-industrial military war machine calls us and we answer, dead. The life gone out as we tried to make the life go out everywhere in fear for our families, Waiting, fear for our children growing without us, fear for our lives on hold while we answer the dead men's call to war, to them, to death. The warships march on, and I march with them. I answer the call of capitalism, the call of petrogarchy. I answer the call of freedom, democracy, liberation. The day you me who I am today, to saved my life, showed me the virtues of spiritlessness, dissonance, hierarchy, propaganda, wait, wait. No, it's illegal to propagandize your compatriots. We spread the good news. Only torture those with vital state secrets. And it's not really torture anyway. Aren't you glad you're on our side? Don't you want everyone to be? I answer the call to join the global American revolution to buy the next bullet to do my part for God and the economy. I answer the call to kill for my right to be wrong. One part Jesus, two parts America. Who thought this strength could be so strong? We're a long way gone. I drink that drink, and so can you. Great taste, best filling, the brand new do. It's the call of your country, a new hope for America. This is freedom calling. I'm answering that call. Are you? There is another side of me than the military lockstep of words, sternly spoken, hand salutes, rough commands of mastery. That other side of open and embrace. That side of me which feels fragile. That when I feel fragile, feel whole. The stern, strong, quiet one is really the child in me. It's the adult who cries, who carries, breaks, remends, who comes childlike into your arms. A fragile, fragile thing, but unafraid in fear, and unmasked, beautiful. And in my very weakness, tears and disarray, stronger than armies of the soldiers I pretend to play. Your implacability in organs such as yours would have. 
throwing on his top coat and walking stick, giving the still warm fireplace of the sitting room of your chest. One last nostalgic look before turning the face to the Imagine the problems in such an organ would have along the road. The inconsiderate motorists, the lack of a good map, the problem of food and shelter, with nothing to give in return but its very self. Your heart goes out, guided only by the faint residue of the same vibrancy that vibrates within, causes it to be, causes it to be taking trails, mind found, unimaginable, unmanageable, guided by the faint crying echoes of a brother in need. Your heart finds mine, battered, tattered, bemused, but now, somehow, oh.